Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Um, remember, remember the 5th of November. Ironic today that we got the news that the nuclear cartel is going after Dana for speaking the truth so vociferously, right? Um, I know all of us involved in this, anybody who's watching my videos, uh, unless they're shills for the nuclear cartel, are going to be supporting Dana. I'm actually, I am going to send him some money uh, back tomorrow. I'm going to do it. I'm going to send a squeeze out as much as I possibly can. I did my budget today. I think I can squeeze out 500 bucks to help for his legal fund. Uh, that's a bit of cash for me, but I think it's worth it. Dana has given us so much and risked his life, lost his fucking wheelchair. I mean, he... He's gone through so much. Um, although legally, I can understand, you know, like, he gets a little excited when he's in his videos. I know he doesn't mean it intentionally, but people can use that shit against you. So when we make our videos, we have to be careful about how we present ourselves and the things that we say. We don't have to ignore these nuclear apologists, but we just have to trim how, what we really say about them and keep to the facts like today I saw an article yesterday I saw an article it's called the Globe and Mail and they talked about poor Jay Cullen he is he's he's come under attack by hate mongerers and the people who are doomsayers and they're poor him and in there it's talking about how Jay Cullen says gee the scientific community really needs to express itself more I wrote that man back and maybe I can figure out a way to put all those links in here, but I don't know. Uh, I wrote this man back who wrote that article, and I told him, you know what? People are sick of the nuclear manipulation. Either Jake Cullen is a intentional liar, or he is just regurgitating the lies of the nuclear cartel. Because if he had done his homework and read John Goffman's work, read Linus Pauling's work, and read Arthur Tamplin's work, he would have discovered that you don't test water. The level of radiation harm you test in the plant life in the food. Asking for people to send you water is not a good way to determine the harm that Fukushima is causing us. And, you know, I personally think this is... The, and I said this in the letter. I think that Fukushima is actually exacerbating the the heating of the Pacific Ocean. That's why it's gone on Balco since Fukushima. Yes, the microbes are dying, but I think between the radiation and the warming of the ocean, all of the little microscopic plant life that lives in the super cold deep ocean is fucking gone. I didn't say fucking, you know. But I basically told this guy, like, we're sick of it. And you know what? The nuclear cartel is picking on Dana because they don't like to have an educated populace, which is why I read these books to you guys. Uh, it, they do get tedious, but I'm going to read some more. And I'm, I apologize if I don't read clearly or make it interesting enough. I try to keep the video short, but you know what? We're going to stick by Dana. Them going after Dana has actually, probably you guys are like me. It has like anchored my feet. My resolve is a million times stronger now that they're going after Dana. Dana did nothing. Dana did nothing to harm these people except call them names. He called them names. Wah, wah, wah. They can't take being name called. Wah. They're calling me names. Wah. For God's sakes. Kevin Blanche calls Helen Caldecott a whore, for fuck's sake. Like, what's... And nothing's happened. Like, there are people out there that are calling, saying way worse. And they pick on Dana, not because of what Dana's saying about these guys. They're picking on Dana because of the information he's giving out to the public, to the universe, to all of us. He's sharing information. He's a self-educated citizen journalist, citizen scientist, and that is what the nuclear cartel hates. They have been lying to us for 70 years. They lied to us for 20 years and didn't tell us there was nuclear waste. 
Tomorrow, President Obama is going to have an uh, energy summit, and they're going to talk about nuclear as if it's clean energy. And I personally am going to be on the White House uh, line uh, 202. What's the number there at the White House? It's, it's the area code is 202 456 one 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 that's the white house's phone number you can call them up and tell them nuclear is not clean it could be clean if they knew what to do with the waste but they don't know what to do with the waste so now we have billions of gallons of nuclear waste spread all over this entire planet that is actually harming the environment that's not clean uh, what they're talking about and all of us need to be, and I'm going to keep hounding this home because this is important. When the nuclear cartel, the IAEA, anybody that talks about nuclear says it's clean and it's safe. No, it's not safe. It's allowable. What they agreed to 50 years ago, 40 years ago, was that there was an allowable level of radiation. That's what they determined. There was an allowable level of radiation because the benefit of having this relatively clean power was worth some people getting sick. That's what they agreed to. So you know what the levels are? They definitively define this, that for every two rads of radiation in the air, we have 32,000 extra cancers every year. And... 200 and about 225,000 children born with genetic defects. So now we have on average 17 rads of radiation in the air. Do the math. That's about a million genetic defects every single year from radiation. And what is that, like 100,000 or 208 times, you know, 200,000 cancers every year, 250,000. Well, here's my calculator. Hold on. Let me see what this says. Let me see if I can get it turned on. 32,000 times, let's just say 8, round it up, equals 256,000 cancers every single year. You want to know why we have a cancer epidemic? It's called nuclear pollution and radiation in the air. So we need to be hounding the White House and reminding him nuclear is not safe, that the levels of acceptable radiation 70 years ago have bioaccumulated on us to the point where it's not at all safe. And we need to demand that our government stop going after activists and people who are doing our duty to the planet and to our country and to our families and to ourselves to stop the lying, greedy, profit over everything matters. That's This is what Reaganomics brought us is that profit is the primary motive that everything else takes a backseat to profit. That you can't have a decent culture unless they're rich. Well, you know what? When you have big riches, you have big wealth. Gigantic. This is why I actually, in my business, I don't charge. I charge about, a, I don't know. I, I charge about a third less of what my colleagues charge, to be honest, for the business that I do. You know why? Because I don't think it's good to get rich off of the backs of taxpayers who are having tax problems. I look at my business as a service to my fellow citizens. And I think it's 100% incorrect to get rich off of the poor and to get rich off of people that are having a hard time. And I really strongly, obviously, for the last 19 years, I have kept my income lower than it, quote, could be. I've had two attorneys call me up and yell at me because my fees were too low. And I'm actually better at what they I do than they are. And they're mad at me because I can do it better and cheaper. And that is exactly why they suppressed solar power, why they're suppressing wind power, because it's cheaper and it's practically free and it has no harm. But you know what? Remember, remember the 5th of November. And that's what we're going to keep in mind. The news came out today that the nuclear cartel is going after Dana Durnford. And guess what? 
we're digging in our feet and we're going to support him. We're going to provide him with more money than he needs for his attorney. I wish I could give more than $500. I don't think I can this month. You know, I've just finished up the end of my season, so I've got a few months to hang in there till I can start generating a lot of money again. But I can squeeze out some money for Dana because he seriously needs our help. And frankly, we owe him a lot. He has documented something that our governments have refused to do, which is why they're going after him. They're going after him because they have refused to do the work that he has done. So let us join forces, unite the clans. Let us move forward. And, you know, I guess this is a plea. Please go to, but to Dana Durnford's website, uh, thenuclearproctologist.org, and uh, hit the contribute button, even if it's only 20 bucks. You know what? Every dollar matters. I know it did to me when I was supporting Kevin Blanche 100%. It mattered when people gave us 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. That helped me quite a bit, just knowing that other people were out there. And it accumulates. It does accumulate, just like the fucking bio accumulation of radiation. Every drop matters. And we're looking at the glass half full here, folks. This thing with Dana is probably going to be a blessing because guess what? Now we get to put these people on the stand. We get They're not going to want to go to court. They're going to want to settle. This is going to get dropped because they are not going to want to have to get on the stand and have Mr. J. Cullen or Ken Buser tell people why they only wanted to collect water and not dirt, why they weren't testing seafood, and why they weren't testing seaweed, and why they weren't testing the animals, the places where the radiation bioaccumulates. The disingenuousness of the nuclear cartel is beyond comprehension. And for these so-called scientists who are fucking lazy, 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 lazy readers who refuse to do their homework and read these books by John Goffman. Look at this book. I'm going to get it because this is a book for the nuclear cartel. This is a book for Ken Buesler, and this is a book for Jay Cullen. This is a book these guys need to read. So if the nuclear shells are out there spying on my videos, you can just pass the name of this book along. Radiation and Human Health, a comprehensive investigation to the evidence of low-level radiation to cancer and other diseases, a definitive scientific book that these guys could comprehend and ought to understand. Because for them to be out there saying that there's no harm to human health guarantees to me that they are just swallowing the pablum that the nuclear cartel is giving them. And I'm personally over it. I have been over it. But this thing with them attacking Dana, man, it has crystallized my support of Dana Durmford. Has crystallized my support for activists putting themselves out there, speaking the truth to power. So you bet. Remember, remember the 5th of November. So I'm going to end here, you guys. Tomorrow is my radio show on ucy.tv. Uh, it's called The Age of Fission. It's on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Monday, I read Nuclear Alerts. Wednesdays, I have interviews. Friday is call-in Friday. If any of you want to call in, arr, I don't know the number by heart, 717-718-8296. That's it off the top of my head. But you can go to uCY.tv and look at the call-in radio, a call-in number. It says call-in for live chat. Uh, I'll put the number in the information page down here. I'm going to post this up. I'm going to do a reading of our book, but in a second video. But I had to get this up because I want Dana to know that we love him. We really love you, Dana. We love you. We love your effort. We love your heart. We love your brain. We love how you have been working hard at this. We love the, really, the obstacles that you have overcome. We admire you. And we will support you financially. Please do not worry about the money. We will help you. And I will figure out a way to keep... Ha I will really manifest the money. I'll help. I'll figure out a way to start sending you money regularly, as I'm sure hundreds of other people will. So please, 
Know that you're loved. Know that you're appreciated. And thank you for putting your neck out on the line. And um, God bless you, Dana. And thank everybody for listening to this video. And let's unite the clans and stick together and stop the nuclear cartel and end the insanity of nuclear energy being shoved down our throats and on our children. Ciao, you guys.